All right, good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike with Adamero, and thanks for joining us today uh, for the launch of version seven of our flagship product, Content Central. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, get started here in just a second, but before we do, uh, I'd like to take a minute to just mention, uh, if you have any questions, there is a questions area right there uh, in the GoToWebinar uh, software, and we've got uh, our team on standby to answer any questions as we go along. And uh, we do promise to keep this to 15 minutes or less today. We know everybody's very busy, got plenty of things to get back to, um, so we, we're going to make sure we stick to that timeline. I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about what we're going to see here today first, and that's going to be what's new with version 7. We'll also see a brief demonstration of it, and then we're going to just talk uh, for a few minutes about everything that we offer and what's known as our paperless office suite. Uh, and uh, So let's go ahead and, and jump right in. Uh, so with the, the new release of Content Central version 7, we've done several things here for you. Uh, one of the, the biggest things is using the absolute latest technology. This includes things like HTML5 and CSS3. And we've done this so that we can bring to the table uh, the absolute best browser support for the latest browsers, the absolute greatest performance available by using these absolute latest platforms. And one of the things that we uh, took very careful to do was to select a design strategy that's going to be the most efficient uh, and most effective for your users. And that included using Google Material Design. And let's talk about what, what exactly that means. Google has collaborated to create a design strategy that focuses on the user experience. This design strategy sets the standard for the ease of use and functionality for users. It also creates a platform as you move from one app to another uh, or from even different environments like a PC to a mobile device, you always feel at home, you feel comfortable, and know how to take advantage of all the features of the application. Now, along with this uh, new design and look and feel that we'll see here in just a minute, we've added some really great features that we think uh, both uh, potential new customers and existing customers are going to really love about the application. And first is the customizable dashboard. So it's a widget-based uh, design where each user can actually create their own widgets uh, and design their dashboard to create the best shortcuts and effectiveness for the tasks they commonly do. We also have a favorites feature. So just like a website that you favorite because you frequently, uh, you frequent it often, you can do the same with documents now in Content Central. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up uh, version 7, and we're looking at the login screen now. And the first thing we do, just like uh, in previous versions, is we type in our password and we're able to log in. But when we log in here, immediately it looks very different. And we've got these items here on the dashboard. But let's take a look at them. You can move these guys around. You can order and design it exactly how you want. Uh, maybe I don't want this one anymore and let's get rid of that one. And not only can you move them around and design them. They're interactive. You can see these are actual buttons for my approval queue, the ability to approve or reject a document very quickly from my dashboard, or perform a search that's targeted for a specific catalog. Or again, our, our favorites, that new feature, which we'll see more about here in a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign down here in the bottom right, and we're going to create a brand new widget. And so I'm going to choose my widget type, and let's do a folder one. And let's select the catalog here. Uh, let's do uh, mortgage here. And then we're going to uh, add a subfolder. In this case, maybe we're working currently uh, on a mortgage for this client right here. So we're frequenting that folder. So we're going to go ahead and set that up and click apply. Now that we've got this new widget, let's see it in action. I'm going to go ahead and click right on that uh, item. And then it takes me straight to the folder for Alyssa Martinez. And the, here are the documents. Now you can use the widgets to get around the software. Uh, get to the place where you're going, and that works great. But let's say I just want to perform a, a search. I come in, type in a keyword. Now I'm pulling back a totally different set of documents. Again, very quick and easy there, pulling back a large set of documents. Now, you probably are looking at these cards and going, well, what exactly does that get us? Well, uh, this new design eliminates grids and preview panes, so we can use the, the most of the space uh, you know, effectively as possible. If I hover this card, 
you know, of course we see that there's metadata on it and, and we see the image of the document, but we have quick actions right here, the ability to download, email a document, edit a document, so that you can see this one's already been favorited. Uh, if I go ahead and click on the card, it's going to go uh, open it up and we're going to see the document full screen. We see the properties over here on the right. But you also see there's an action drawer here. If I go ahead and open that up, now we can see all of the different activities that this user uh, would commonly do with this document inside the software. So, you know, maybe you're starting an approval process with it or uh, maybe appending some additional pages. Now, if we come back, you can get act, you can access that action drawer, not just the quick action, to any time by selecting the document and coming right back to that action drawer. Uh, maybe you want to share this document with another user, for instance. I'm going to go back to the full screen view for just a second. And I mentioned previously uh, one of the things that we really achieved with this new version is a great performance increase. Well, let's see that in action here. There were 16 documents available in that search I did. And I'm just going to start nexting through them, uh, you know, going to the next document. And you're going to just see how quickly uh, these documents come to a full screen view. And we can get through finding that specific document by being able to look a little closer. And it's just really lightning fast for you. Now let's say we're, we've completed what we were doing here. And we want to navigate to the different areas of the software, maybe back to your dashboard. Or maybe you want to go to your approval queue. Up here in the top left, you can access the new navigation drawer. And this navigation drawer has access to all of those different areas, including your work areas, uh, your folder browser. And let's take a look at the folder browser. It looks a little different than previous versions. And you can click on a folder. Works very similarly, though. And then, of course, you get down to uh, the folder where the documents are. Very quick, very easy. Now I'm going to come back, and let's take a look at the work areas again. And let's go right over to our approval queue. Uh, now what you're going to see here is we've got three documents in our queue. One of the really neat things is that some users are going to prefer to use this list view here, uh, and you can change the format of how the documents preview, or you can go back to the cards, and you can do that at any time, not just in here in this work queue or approval, approval queue. Uh, if I go back to look at my quick actions, we see here uh, I got uh, some additional ones that are appropriate for being in the approval queue, the ability to approve or reject that document. Maybe we want to go full screen with it so we can see exactly what it is, uh, and then open up our action drawer uh, to start doing things like maybe looking at the packet, the related documents, uh, or just simply approving this document, in which case we can type some notes here, approve this document, and move it on to the next stage. What I'd like to do next is come back to the navigation drawer, and let's come down and take a look at our favorites feature here. So I've got quite a few documents favorited. You know, Maybe the idea here is that uh, I'm frequently you know, needing to access these documents, uh, or maybe uh, they're going through a particular workflow, and I want to be able to track that, you know, looking at your packet statuses and the different features there. And of course, just like anywhere else, you can click on a document and take it full screen. What I'd like to do is take a minute and look back at Content Central version 6.5. And uh, let's just see what exactly is, uh, transpired as far as the change. So we can see here what the dashboard for 6.5 looked like. And if I come over to my search area, I'm able to come in and do keyword searches uh, and pull back documents. But you can see a lot of real estate here uh, is, is designed differently. And you, know, and you have your grid and your preview pane. And you know, this software was an award-winning and industry-leading software for close to a decade. And, and this classic interface for, for that period of time has really stayed about the same. So one of the things that we wanted to be very careful about for our existing users is we wanted to keep this classic interface available. So when you upgrade to version 7, you can use this brand new interface that you have here, or you can still use the old interface or classic interface. And the reason we did that is we know that some users are going to transition very quickly and others are just going to prefer the classic interface. So we're going to leave that ability for you to use both. Uh, so rest easy in being able to upgrade to the latest technology, but use that classic interface if you want. Now what I'd like to do is come over and talk about going forward. Now that we have this new platform, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have Android and iOS, iOS apps for you. Now we had mobile access with previous versions. 
uh, and the new version has mobile access as well. But we want to bring true apps uh, to the table so that we can do additional things like take advantage of the camera features on these mobile devices so that you can actually capture content from those devices as well as review and approve documents like you could previously. We're also going to have document discussions. This is the ability to collaborate on documents, uh, write messages, and have discussions right within the software about those particular documents. And desktop folder syncing. So quickly accessing from your desktop uh, you know, those, those documents and those folders uh, that, that you uh, frequent and, and are accessing on a regular basis. Now I'd like to take a minute uh, to also discuss um, the, our paperless office suite. Adam Arrow has been known as that award-winning document management company uh, for, for over 10 years. Uh, and what we want is everyone to know that we do more than document management today. We offer a full paperless office using multiple products, including our advanced imaging product, CapturePoint, uh, and our print management software, PrintStream. So really, we're, we're offering the ability to manage prints, manage documents, and even automate uh, your, your capture of uh, paper-based documents. So we'd like to extend an offer. Uh, feel free uh, to touch base with us following uh, this brief webinar today uh, to get a, a closer look at, at Content Central or Capture Point or Print Stream. Uh, and, and one of the things that we're going to go ahead and extend to you uh, is what we call customized proof of concept demos. So touch base with your rep, and we can uh, go ahead and get you set up for a customized demo so you can take a closer look and see if any of these products we discussed today uh, would be a good fit for your office. And thanks for attending, everyone. We really appreciate you being a part of, of the launch here of version 7 of Content Central uh, and, and taking a look at, uh, uh, at what we are uh, have available. So uh, thanks again. Hope you have a great afternoon. Speak to you soon.